and our weather is dry, but it is very cold this morning. As far as what you need to know, sunny but cold weather for today. So temperatures uh, starting out in the teens this morning will be right around 23 degrees, 24 at 9 o'clock, 33 and sunny at lunchtime. And then as we continue on through the afternoon, upper 30 should do it for today. We've got Arctic air moving in. So the air in place right now is definitely cold, but we've got Arctic air coming in heading into next week. And also some chances we're maybe picking up on some snow. So we're going to be watching for that in your seven day forecast as well. Right now, there's your temperature 18. With the mostly clear sky, a light south wind, and eventually that south breeze will help warm us up. As of right now, it's just giving us a wind chill of 11 above. Here are your temperatures around the metro 20 for Chillicothe and Marshall, but as you head westward, how about Lawrence at 13? We're at 16 for St. Joe and 18 degrees in Maryville. So all of us are feeling the chill this morning, looking at temperatures around the region. Well, you've got a lot of teens and 20s, so a much colder air mass in place over the Midwest right now. But it gets even colder the farther north that you go. In fact, uh, looking over now, southern parts of Canada, how about Winnipeg? Minus 18, Saskatoon minus 20. This colder air was a little bit farther north over the last two mornings. So now we're seeing this air pushing farther to the south and it's going to head in our direction. Not for today, not going to move quite in tomorrow, but as we get into Monday night, that's when that cold air is going to move in. It's going to stick around through Thursday morning. So to start off 2015, it'll be a very cold morning. And the Arctic air, what does that mean for us? We're talking about highs, teens and 20s, and morning wind chills near or below zero. That's what we're going to see as we head into your Tuesday morning. Then again, as we get into your Wednesday morning and possibly even Thursday morning, those wind chills near zero. So let me take you through the temperatures. Upper 30s for today, sunshine, light south winds, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Overnight, we'll drop our lows back into the lower to middle 20s. So not quite as cold overnight. We'll have a few more clouds around. Heading into your day tomorrow, those clouds will be building as we head through the afternoon. That front's going to start moving in. So I think we spend most of the day ahead of the front. So highs are going to be middle to upper 30s, close to 40 degrees. Then that front's going to come in as we head into the evening, and it's going to bring the colder air and maybe even a few snow showers. Let me show you future scan. I'm starting it out Monday morning at 6 a.m. So we start out your Monday dry. Here's lunchtime, still dry, but more of those clouds rolling in. And now as we approach 6 p.m., here come some of those snow showers as that front starts pushing into northern Missouri and moving southward. And you see here, this is 11 p.m. Monday night, and you see how those snow showers are showing up. Maybe a dusting possible in parts of the area, say, especially from I-70 and areas northward. So that would include the metro. We'll have that possibility of maybe just some very light snow accumulations. And then look at Tuesday. Once that cold air gets here, it is cold. We're talking about highs in the teens to near 20 degrees. Next seven days, more of that cold heading into your Wednesday. A morning start in the single digits. And then heading into Friday and Saturday, we're tracking uh, a storm system might have a little more strength to it. So as of right now, 35 your high on Friday, upper 20 Saturday. So it might be a mix Friday. Transitioning over to some snow on Saturday. But computer models are kind of all over the place, taking the storm farther north, taking it farther south. and. That would have implications on the amount and types of precipitation that we see. So we're going to watch that one carefully.